Hi, welcome back to Educator.com's AP Music Theory course. Today's lesson is on binary and ternary forms. So the lesson objectives for today are pretty simple. We're going to just learn to write and then recognize uh, binary forms. And then we're going to do the same thing with ternary forms. So first we'll uh, look at the structure of the forms and then we'll write them out in a four-part style. So let's do a little diagram for binary forms. So kind of similar to the uh, periods that we saw in the previous lesson on form. So a binary form is different in that it has two parts, obviously. So we'll make a little dividing line for the part here. And we'll choose a key just so we can use um, some relationships. So if the form is, for instance, starting in major, it will consist of initial phrase here so there will be this A phrase that, of course, starts on 1 and has a sort of cadence in the middle. So maybe a, a half cadence on 5. And then there will be another phrase, which can be, uh, for instance, a variation of the first phrase. So maybe I'll call it A prime. And this will start on 1 again and can also move to not so much a half cadence as a cadence on the dominant uh, degree. And then in the second part, <coughs> so here we've sort of moved to G major, and then commonly what happens in the second part is we begin the piece in this new key that we've cadenced on, and we've got a B phrase now. And what happens is that this music basically works its way back into an authentic cadence in the original key of C. And so what happens here can either be a incomplete authentic cadence in G would work. So here we have a 1 in G and then a 5, 1 and then the music works its way back to C. So we would have a 5 and a 1 in C. <coughs> and these phrases can also be uh, parallel. So there's this A phrase and a variation on the A idea, and then a B phrase, and then a variation on that phrase. And these uh, phrases are mostly going to be, the A's and the B's are all dealing with the melodic ideas. And we're just going to stick to the uh, underlying uh, structural forms uh, today. And if you want to flesh them out, that's something that um, can be done by just elaborating on the harmonies and introducing uh, rhythms and uh, non-harmonic tones and things like that. But let's 